Hello everyone, it's Father Mark again, and as we enter into these last days of our Lenten journey, we continue with our reflection on finding hope when life hurts. Uh, and we're going to be looking at two different days. One is March 22nd, taking the high road, and the other is the 27th, next Tuesday of Holy Week, a gamble worth the risk. And I might begin with a kind of a cultural touchstone for people around my age or so. It's a uh, that wonderful or not so wonderful, depending on your opinion, Kenny Rogers song, The Gambler, right? You got to know when to hold him, know when to hold him, right? Know when to walk away, know when to run. Uh, those words are kind of burnt into my memory as they played over and over and over again on radio, and uh, they seem to be everywhere of my youth. And that might be a good cultural touchstone as we think about the two different readings. Uh, one of the things that happens as a priest is oftentimes we are always in the next moment. We very seldom stay right where we are because while it is still 10 or 11 days till Easter when I am recording this, I am already have my Easter homilies in my head. I'm already thinking about what's going to happen and actually even looking forward to First Communion, which is in the beginning in the late June, late April, early May. So Father Sika puts these two very contrary things in front of us. The first one, March 22nd, taking the high road, he reminds us that sometimes in conflict, the best thing to do is to walk away, to take a break, to leave behind the conflict and not let it destroy your soul. And yet, he follows that up on March 27th uh, with the reality that sometimes it's worth the fight. Sometimes staying in there, confronting the sin, confronting the hurt, confronting the, 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 the patterns that seek to destroy us is worth the fight. It's worth the risk. It's worth the gamble as uh, knowing when to hold them in that point. But I think more importantly, those two things weave together in a very important way is that there are times where, yes, we need to take a break, to walk away, to leave the sin behind. But that isn't to abandon either the person or the situation, but rather it is to let God work within us, to let God take the moment within our life to lift us up, to allow, allow us to be lifted up. Uh, one day, uh, one, one time when I was in confession, my confessor gave me a penance, and I was very frustrated and a little bit angry with the penance, right? And as I walked away, uh, I knew I was going to do the penance because I desired God's mercy in my life, but I was not happy about it. And I slept on it, and the next morning when I got up, I was ready to joyfully enter the penance because I saw the wisdom behind what he had shared with me, even though it was hard, even though it was somewhat um, not my cup of tea. And yet going in there and doing it brought me back close to God, taking the risk to gamble, although I needed to also walk away for a while and allow God's mercy, God's love to settle more deeply into my heart. So as we look forward to these last few days of our Lenten journey, uh, make sure we take that pause. Don't, don't simply walk away from Lent, but carry Lent with you. Uh, take the gamble. It's worth the risk to fall in love with God, to fall in love with His Holy Church, His Holy people, to enter into those moments of grace, those moments of blessing, where we share the true gift of life, the true gift of love, the true gift of who we are with one another, as Jesus does with us each and every day in the Eucharist. God bless, and I wish you a wonderful Palm Sunday and a wonderful Holy Week.